Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a much bigger than expected Sephora haul and some pieces from Ulta as well. So if you want to see some of the new holiday releases that I've picked up recently, then just keep watching. Okay, so I know my hair is only like 70% dry, but I have to leave for work soon. We had like a going in four hours late day. So I just don't have the time to wait for it to dry. So <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. So we're gonna start off with Sephora. I picked up some fun things that have come out for the holidays. The first one, this one I wanted to speak about because I hadn't really seen any coverage on it and it was absolutely stunning. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea finger foil face quad and i know the lighting's a little bit weird because i'm filming in daytime and i don't normally do that so i'm gonna try and work with it but the packaging is super cute and i normally don't buy things from tarte i will pick up things from them every now and then normally their holiday stuff doesn't really intrigue me but this one had me i don't even know if this is a holiday release but it released recently and I hadn't seen anything about this, but when I saw it in stores, it was stunning. So first of all, look at this packaging. Super cute. Tarte usually does a pretty good job with their packaging. And then you open it up and it's four of these shades. They're super pretty. They're like peachy, pinky, golden tones. I've heard nothing but good things about their finger foil formula. And these are the most stunning colors. I can't believe I hadn't heard anything about this. So the premise of this is it's supposed to be a face palette because I believe it's this shade right here. It's supposed to be like a blush or something. They put one color in that could be used on the face and they said it was a face palette. Honestly, I'll probably just use this for eyes, but it's really stunning. It's like a really creamy formula. The shadows are so shiny. I feel like the only concern I have for this is I feel like it won't last long once the colors start to dry out, but I'm very excited to cover that on my channel. So you will definitely be hearing about that again once I get the chance to use it. This is not a holiday release, but this caught my eye. This is from Lancome and I never purchase anything from Lancome, but this is the Le Monochrome chromatic color so the premise of this is that you can use it on the eyes the lips the cheeks anywhere you want to put it this was the color that stood out to me the most and i'll post a picture right here there is a whole palette of this type of formula which i wasn't aware of until after i bought this but this is really pretty i used it on my eyes the other day and i did notice it starting to crease but i do really like this on the cheeks as well this is like a really great highlight formula where it's subtle but really really pretty i just like the way it blends into the skin it blends in very seamlessly and on the eyes and the cheeks it's really pretty if you like that monochromatic look i would say this is like a cream to powder formula i never purchased anything from lancome but something about this really stood out to me uh, this is in the shade eclat i got it in a champagne color because those are the type of colors i tend to use the most often and i really do like this i don't love it but i will keep you updated because i do want to use it a few times more before i give you my final opinion. This I actually did not purchase from Sephora, but it's at Sephora if you are interested. I purchased this from Muse Beauty Pro. This was on sale for like their Halloween sale. Right now they're having like a last chance event sale and they have quite a few Vizier palettes, a couple that I'm eyeing as well. So I would check that out. I'll put the link to the sale below. So if you're into Vizier, they do have a few palettes for sale, but this is the Dark Edits. Uh, it took me a while to pick this one up. I was just holding off until the right time came and once I saw this was on sale I jumped on it and it really is just the most beautiful array of colors it is really perfect for fall Viseart is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas and this is a great way to try their formula at a more affordable price compared to their like $80 palettes yeah I haven't used this yet but it looks absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to create some fall October-y kind of looks with it and if you watched my most recent shopper drop I said I was going to hold off on on these palettes and then I saw they had them in my local Sephora and I'd been hearing nothing but really good things about them so I did just end up picking them up while they were at my Sephora because my local Sephora it's a JC Penny Sephora and it's just not that good they're always late to get new products in so when I saw they had this I was so surprised that I felt like I needed to support that Sephora so that maybe they could continue to get some really new good releases in so I mean I'm sure you guys have seen this but this is the Huda Nude Light one really pretty this one seems to be the one that's the least popular of all that people are saying has the least amount of pigmentation but it's really light delicate airy colors so I'm very excited to see how that works this one I was the most excited for 
for. Uh, this was the one, if I was gonna pick just one up, it would be this one. So this is the medium, really cute packaging. I love that they switched to plastic packaging for these guys instead of their old cardboard. But this has stunning warm rosy tones. And this is a palette that I feel like the colors can work all year round, I honestly do. And the pigmentation from what I can tell from watching others reviews seems to be amazing. And then this one I originally was not going to purchase, but honestly, even though these are labeled light, medium, rich, don't let that scare you away. Uh, these shades will work well for everybody, but it's awesome. Like if you do have a rich skin tone, this is a great option for you. So this is the Rich Nude Obsessions really pretty, kind of almost cranberry-ish. I wouldn't necessarily call this nude, but absolutely stunning. I feel like all three of these, they definitely run a little bit more on the pinky tones. Remember the last nude palette that she had, it was very, very pink. So that's just kind of the brand's prerogative as far as nudes go, is that they're more pinky, which I'm okay with because I love pinky tones. But yeah, said I wasn't going to get these, went against my word, and here they are. I have not yet personally tried them, but I'm very excited to. I have a collection of these little guys, so I decided that I should just pick them up. I also purchased, and I'm sorry, I know I'm so behind on my reviews. I don't think I will be getting a whole review up on this one. Maybe a couple of tutorials, but this is the Carly Bybel palette from ABH. You guys know I have a little bit of a sour attitude, just as everybody else does, uh, because of how many palettes they're releasing, but just as a makeup reviewer and just me generally loving makeup, I picked it up anyways because this palette is really pretty and I really do like Carly Bybel. I feel like she's one of the few non-problematic very large channels so and these are really pretty light airy tones this definitely is not a cup of tea for everybody I really like it I don't love the packaging I feel like it's a little tacky some people love it so that's on you but from swatching these the shades look gorgeous and I'm very excited to have this at this point like I'm I don't know I'm just such a collector that I can't help myself. I also picked up a couple of things from the Fenty Beauty Holiday collection that they have. I love that they release these minis for the holidays because I'm all about the minis. This one I put back all messed up when I took it out, but this is a duo with a mini highlighter and a lip gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth. So the highlighter is stunning. I have not yet put it on my face, but this I think is my favorite color from Fenty. It's almost like a gray silver tone, but with a little bit of pink. It's a very unique highlighter shade, honestly. I don't know. I haven't put it on my face yet, but I'm so excited for this. This is Sandcastle. Really, really pretty. I'm so excited I got this. These colors are so pretty. And this is a little mini lip gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth. And honestly, I feel like these little lip glosses last forever. I don't know. Maybe I just don't use them enough, but my minis last me a long time. So this is Sweet Mouth. And again, this is my favorite of the new little mini lip glosses. It's just a super light champagne-y pink. And oh my gosh, this is such a good set. Like, I recommend this for everybody, even though I've never tried these. I just love the colors and the formula of these products. And then I picked up the Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Bomb Collection. You guys know this is like one of the best lip gloss formulas. I love the minis, and I love that this comes in such a cute tin case. Really cute. Then you open it not the easiest to open and you get five more of the mini lip glosses she doesn't have a very big range of colors in these glosses so I was so excited to pick this up because this expanded the range and along with this as well the only color that I personally have right here is fussy and I have it in another mini so that'll probably be done soon so I'm very excited to have this range I've not tried anything on in this haul so I haven't opened up and swatched these colors yet but this like reddish color right here red orange super excited about out. really excited about all of these but I hope these are just as beautiful as the other colors that they have so these are not from Sephora but I purchased these because I was so excited for them these are the new Dior eyeshadow palettes from their holiday collection and they just look so pretty it's for like 2020 happy 2020 and so the first one that I have and I don't really have no I don't have any of the Dior like five pan palettes so this was the perfect time for me to pick them up because I was in love with these colors so this first one is 077 party in colors and these are really stunning they have a Pat McGrath-esque kind of formula not quite as glittery but these have very subtle glitters when you swatch them on your hand and put a light on that's when you can really see what these shadows have to offer this is a really fun colorful one 
very great for New Year's and telling you these shades are so pretty. They're even more pretty when swatched than they do look in the pan. And then there's another one for all of you neutral lovers and they come in this nice velvet casing. And this one is Celebrate in Gold. This palette's for a different type of person, but if you're a neutral lover, this one is absolutely stunning. Kind of reminiscent of the Backstage palette that they had come out. Less colors, but of course a little bit more luxe. But I really like this one too. You can do a sick, smoky, neutral eye with that one. So here's a look at both of them. Really beautiful. Dior killed the game with this collection. They also have some really neat lip colors that have like glitters in them. I would definitely recommend you look them up. I just cannot afford to purchase them at this time because I don't even have enough time to fill my reviews. It's killing me. I need to stop adding more products. This one was from, from Sephora. It was hiding in the corner, but this is the Bite Beauty Four Piece Mini Amuse Bouge Supercharged Lipstick Set. I did post a photo of this on my Instagram because it was just so cute. And I've always wanted to try the Amuse Bouge formula from Bite Beauty. And every year I always think about getting one of their sets. And this year was the year that I finally decided to do it. Here's what the packaging looks like. Let me pull out the actual colors for you. They're super cute. This was, I believe, $21 or $25. Either way, for me who has so many lipsticks, I love that this was like $20 something dollars. And I get to try four of the formulas and they are a little bit more brighter kind of colors. You do have one peachy nude. Really fun to play with these types of colors. And so far, I'm really liking the formula. They are quite creamy. And I just think this is a really good deal if you've been wanting to try this formula. So for me personally, I benefited from this. So hopefully, if you are interested in trying this formula, I brought some awareness about this product. I have a few more things that are not from Sephora. This haul was originally supposed to be really small, just focusing on a few products. And then, you know, just day by day, I'm collecting more and more. So if you weren't aware, KKW came to Ulta. I went the day that they were in stores because I wanted to get, you know, first pick because I feel like everything at my Ulta sells out so fast that I wanted to have choice in the full selection and it was really nice to see the products in store. The only experience I have with KKW is I purchased their original first Mario collection and then I did go to the very first KKW pop-up store which I didn't purchase too much from. I believe I just purchased like a contour stick and concealers because I had happened to be in the west coast when that store launched and I was so excited. That was a long time ago. But anyways, so I hadn't purchased anything from KKW since last summer. So I got quite a few things to try. So I picked up a couple eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the Classic Blossom. And they have a pretty decent selection in case you were wondering. It's not the whole line and my particular Ulta didn't have everything in stock. They weren't sent every item that the display had, but they had a pretty good selection. If you're like me and you just don't have a ton from KKW, this was great. So it allowed me to pick up stuff while getting Ulta points and also not having to worry about shipping because I believe KKW shipping sucks. But this one's super pretty. I've had my eye on this particular palette for a long time, but I thought I never needed it. But since it was there in front of me and I had the option of picking it up without having to worry about ordering and all of that, we have this really beautiful kind of pinky toned palette. Honestly, really pretty considering putting this one in my kit for a wedding or two because... I'm loving the looks of it. And I just love the whole aesthetic of the brand. It's very simple and clean. And even though I'm into luxe, bedazzled stuff, there is something refreshing about something a little bit more clean like this. And then I also got the classic eyeshadow palette. Again, this one would be a good staple in my makeup kit, but I'm gonna keep it for myself. Really pretty. And the reason why I was tempted to get these eyeshadows was because you guys should watch the Wayne Goss video or review on the KKW collection. He's hilarious, he gets through it really quick, and he's very honest, I believe everything he says, and he does really like the eyeshadow palettes, and I don't know, these are just, this is a really great color selection. I feel like it's quite unique. I mean, it is similar, I would say, to like the Huda Beauty nude palettes, but 
this is a really great take on a nude eyeshadow palette. The other thing that I got is this lipstick and lip gloss trio, just to try out a few of their lipsticks. I do have one lipstick, one or two lipsticks from KKW, but I wanted more. I really liked the formula, and this was a good set to pick up because I also got a gloss. So this is the Rose Gold Gloss, and then we have a lipstick in the shade 3 Nude, really pretty. And I love this packaging. I know some people think it's really cheap looking, but I don't know, I like the whole acrylic vibe. And this one is 90s style, which is a little less peachy. I don't know, I haven't seen these on or swatched these yet, so we will see, but I was really excited about this set. I am such a sucker for value sets. I was hoping that they would have like the pinks and the nudes whole collection, but they only have those online. Can purchase them individually, but I wanted the sets. So I'm considering purchasing the pink and the nudes online, maybe after Christmas or something. And then I picked up a couple lip liners because I know her lip liners are good and I love a good nude lip liner. So I picked up two random colors. I didn't even really swatch them. <laughs> so this is lip liner nude 2.5. Oh yeah. I'm a huge fan of like peachy neutral tone nudes, so I knew these lip liners were going to be good. And they're super duper creamy, so if you don't like a creamy lip liner formula, this isn't the formula for you. If you like a more waxy one, I always recommend MAC. They just have the best ones. Or NYX if you want something more affordable. But creamy? Oof, I love this color. This one's a little bit more pinky. This is nude one right here. Again, super duper creamy. I like the formula of like the ColourPop, Kylie lip liner formula. These are creamy like that. And the last thing for this haul, I kind of picked up on a whim. I talked about this in my shopper drop and I was like, they look pretty, but I don't know that I'd actually purchase them. Uh, but since I saw them in store, I picked one of them up. And this is from the Lorac collection with Rachel Zoe. As I stated in that video, I have a soft spot for Lorac because they used to have my favorite eyeshadow formula. I used my Lorac palettes all throughout high school and college. So I don't know, they just hold a special place in my heart and they've kind of gone downhill. But they came out with a collection with Rachel Zoe and there was three palettes, I believe. Ulta had two in stores, but one of them was sold out. So I picked out the one that was left over. And this is Golden Eyes. And this was only $15, but honestly, you guys, it is tiny it's smaller than a credit card i have a small hand so don't even like use that for comparison but here's like an abh palette do you see how tiny that is and this is all cardboard it feels pretty cheap but the colors of this one in particular are really pretty i've put it on my eye a little bit to play with i, I wouldn't say so far it's nothing that stands out to me but it is really pretty and i didn't notice anything bad i was curious to see where this was made in and it's made in china in case you were wondering though products made in china it doesn't mean it has to be bad but normally when a brand starts off like made in usa or italy or anything like that and they change change to China, normally that's when you tend to notice the formula kind of not being as good. So I don't know, I need to play with this one more, but it is super pretty. So very excited to see what I think about that. Originally, this haul was supposed to have less than like seven items and just with my shopping addiction, it grew and grew and grew. And yeah, I have a whole other holiday makeup haul. Let me know down below which products you guys are interested in the most, which ones I should cover because I am tight for time. So I only want to cover the stuff that you guys want to see the most. If you want to see the Dior palettes, if you're still interested in the Carly Bible, the Tarte, any of that stuff, you guys let me know. I always take what you say into consideration. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.